Hello, my name is George and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to add no board to your live stream. So uh, you're going to need two things. You're going to need OBS and then uh, one more piece of software that you're going to get from obsproject.com and I'll put the link in the video description below is, is you'll need no board and the version uh, I'm showing today will be version 1.2.2. And uh, it's a very simple process. Um, basically, anyone can do it if they want their keyboard to be displayed on their live stream and to see like mouse movements and stuff like that and uh, to see your keyboard presses without having a physical camera showing down on your keyboard and mouse. So uh, this looks extremely good. Uh, it looks very professional once it's done correctly and uh, I will take you step by step on how to implement it into your OBS so you can have it when you're live. So uh, first things first, uh, you're going to install this uh, free no board version uh, 1.2.2. Once you have it installed, you're going to go to the folder that you installed to. In my case, I called it no board. And then you just got to open it and extract it, uh, extract it to one of these folders that you have. And then once you have installed and, or once you have extracted it, then you're going to uh, go ahead and open up what's called no board. So I'll go ahead and do a magnify so you guys can see it easier. So yeah, I have it called no board on my PC. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click right here. I'm going to click run. And then once you have installed it properly, extracted properly, and then opened the software, um, you're going to have one of these keyboards. And uh, I get that this keyboard looks really, really bad. Um, I wouldn't use this uh, skin for the keyboard. I would definitely change it. Uh, first things first, in order to change it, you're going to go to where it says load keyboard. Once you go to load keyboard, uh, I think the two best looking keyboards for this, it's going to default to this burning fish thing, I think. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. All the other keyboards kind of look like they, they look really rudimentary and old and bad. So, I mean, there's some people that like this stuff. You can just get a numpad. You can get arrows. Um, Yeah, none of these really look really professional they just look really old right so you go to normal and then you got these options go to where it says quake and then you got these options i mean if you want a really simple green screened keyboard overlay on your stream i guess these could work for you but uh, obviously i don't use them uh another one would be wheels and under wheels there's one keyboard with small mouse uh, directional sensor right here so you can display which direction you're moving your mouse in um, but I don't particularly like this one either there is one called normal it is an Alienware keyboard and this one does look substantial like it's it's a decent one with like a real looking keyboard and then you get directional display right here but the one that I really like to use and the one that most people ask me to help them out with is is the one called Joa O Y Joa O seven Y T. I don't know what this means, but uh, this is the setting that you want to set it to. And then you can go through here, and uh, it just looks like a razor, simple razor black widow mouse with like a simple keyboard overlay. And I don't like this one either because um, the keys just look like that flat legacy keyboard that's in this program. So I go ahead and choose like this normal black or the one all the way on the bottom, which is this white outlined. Yeah, these took these two look realistic and they look really good and professional once you get it on your OBS and then you're streaming with it. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one seems to be the default one that everyone thinks looks good. And this is, of course, what everyone else uses that you see using this program with. And then so you're going to select the keyboard. And once you have select the one that you like to use, you're going to click close. OK, so when you do want this on your stream, you need to open the program. Otherwise, it won't display it. OK, so once you have it. 
you're going to need to open your OBS like you see here. And then I will try to get the magnifier in here so it can be seen properly. But then uh, once you have the keyboard open, like I have right here, you're going to go into your sources in OBS. Now this will work for Streamlabs as well. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and click plus, add source. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to where it says window capture. So it's near the bottom. You're going to click this and then create new. I'm going to call this no board as the program is no board. And then I'm going to create new and click OK. Once I click OK, you're going to need to uh, go to your window and then find noaboard the no board executable so this is the window that you want to capture of your board i'm going to click that and then it'll be displayed so um you don't need to deal with any of this window match priority i'm going to click ok after i'm done i'm going to go ahead and move it to like a portion of my screen that i know won't interfere with the gameplay and then resize it now once you have resized this uh, keyboard overlay that you have here you can see that it's you know connected and there's basically no latency to speak of it picks it up as soon as you move your mouse or you type on your keyboard as you see here this isn't a full full scale keyboard uh, uh, skin that you see right here this is actually like half the keyboard up to the G key so in this skin um, yeah, this, this is good for like FPS shooters. Uh, if you play like Arma 3 or something and you use the whole keyboard, you'll probably want to pick up that Alienware one that I showed you earlier. But for all intents and purposes, this is the one that I mainly use because I mainly play FPS shooters. And th this is to the this is all the keys that I basically use in my games, so I don't need anything more. Okay. So once you have added the window capture, I'm called uh, in my case I called it No Board. You're going to need to layer it properly within your OBS. So I have it under my alerts. So my alerts go over the keyboard. And then what I'm going to do is you're going to right click no board. OK, so the source is the source that you just added. Go all the way down here to where it says filters. Once you click filters. You'll see this screen pop up and be called filters for no board. And then uh, on the bottom left over here, you'll see like a plus button, sort of like your sources. You're going to click the plus button right here. And then you're going to go ahead and click on where it says chroma key and add this chroma key. So um, it says right here, please specify the name of this filter. I mean, once you chroma key this out, you don't use this uh, filter for anything else. So you can just click OK and keep the name that it says. And then you don't have to screw with any, well, I haven't had to screw with any of this, of these sliders or change any of the numbers or anything here. It's worked flawlessly by just adding a chroma key and then giving the default values. So once I click close here, you can see that it keys out the green portion of what you see on the keyboard overlay that you've selected. So in your OBS, It'll look like, you know, you'll, you'll see the gameplay through the keys and such. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, once you have added this, it's going to function properly. Sometimes when you alt tab, it doesn't work for some reason. But as soon as you tab back in your game, it'll work or vice versa. And uh, yeah, I have really had no issues with it. It's worked flawlessly. I mean, your key presses will be on your stream. And uh, here real quickly, I can... You're going to go right click settings or not settings, you know, right click load keyboard. And if I want to use like the white version instead, I just uh, scroll down to the one that I want and then it'll change it real quickly for me. So if I want to use this one day, like for Christmas or something, which is probably what I'll change it to. I'll use the white background and, or the white keys instead. And then it'll give it like a different feeling on your stream. And then you'll just have this software open. As I said, every time you want to use this and have it on your stream, you'll need to open it. You won't have to make a window capture every time. Uh, it'll capture this window from your OBS. 
And uh, if you have it uh, hidden, you can just re-enable it with the I button right here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, uh, like I said, I'll have the link in the description below for OBS and for the NOAA board. I make other videos on how to set up your OBS for your stream to begin with. Um, if you'd like to check some of my other videos, uh, you're welcome to do so. Um, please like and subscribe this video. Share it um, if you enjoyed this content and want to support more. Um, that's it for me uh, for today. Thanks for coming and watching. I make videos every day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.